2022 was a great year for TV fans. We had some great and shocking moments, from the scene in The White Lotus to the heartbreaking Yellow Jacket's death. When it came to their storytelling, they held nothing back, and fans enjoyed every heart-wrenching, fun, and most importantly, shocking moment. Now, if you'd like to know which TV moments were the most shocking, you'll have to stick around. So, let's get into it. The White Lotus Most Shocking TV Moment The White Lotus is an HBO series. It returned as an anthology in season 2 and quickly won over viewers when they introduced a new group looking to enjoy their stay in Sicily. Fan favorite Tanya, who's played by Jennifer Coolidge, didn't have such a great time at the resort. Her husband Greg, who's played by John Grise, made the choice to return to the US for work. During season 2, Tanya kept up with a group of gay men that she met through Quentin, who's played by Tom Hollander. Her assistant Portia was quickly attracted to Quentin's nephew Jack, and he quickly jumped on the opportunity to show her everything Italy has to offer. But things quickly took a massive turn when Tanya found Jack and Quentin having Leo Woodall, the actor who plays Jack, had his own reaction to this shocking moment. He said that when he got the role, he didn't know what was going to happen to Jack's character. He said that when he got the first five scripts, he read them thoroughly. And when he got to that point in the script, he could tell something was afoot. This reminded Jack about the scene in season one with Murray and Lucas. He said that he was really proud to be part of the volume two of that scene. Next, you won't see Jack or Quentin's nether regions. Woodall recently said that he was very happy with the intimacy coordinator on set and that they made him feel more comfortable. It helps a lot. It makes us feel a lot more comfortable. We had some great intimacy coordinators that really locked it down. It's a closed set and only the very, very, very necessary people that need to be there will be there, he continued. And particularly in the scene with me and Tom, it was all choreographed to get the the right feel, the right look for the scene, while also being protective of our angles and our nether regions. So no, you won't see them but after the shocking scene where the two are together, you wouldn't want any more shock running through your body. Now, Yellow Jackets and its truly shocking moment. Yellow Jackets also had a few shocking moments. From cannibalism to murder, this Showtime series raised the bar with each new episode in its first season. Jackie's death as the result of frostbite is a moment fans are still discussing, even after the show went on hiatus. And shortly after the finale of the first season, Ella Purnell, the actress who played Jackie, discussed the inevitable death of her character. I knew ever since I signed up for the pilot that I would be dying in the finale. It was just very sad to read the finale and to read the death scene and to then have to come to terms with the fact that that's it. Purnell also stated that she didn't have all the answers to Jackie's story. She said she read about the dream sequence and that it was a little dubious. She doubted her ability to pull it off, and she was nervous when they filmed it. But when they did it, it made perfect sense, and it was as impactful as it should have been. She also said that this is the whole trajectory of Jackie. She wanted people to love her. She wanted to be accepted and valued, but didn't know how to express those needs and wants. So, how did Ella Purnell feel about the ending and the dream scene? While it is sad to see a character go, Purnell knew from the get-go that Jackie wasn't going to make it, and the way they incorporated the dream scene into Jackie's ending was brilliant. The scene is that immediate feeling of she gets to relax in the warmth of her friends by the fire, and she's physically relieved from the cold, but she's also emotionally relieved. This is so satisfying for her that finally people are apologizing to her, and it's interesting to play with various levels of Jackie realizing at some point, hang on, something's not right. This can't be real life. Now, you're going to have to wait for more Yellow Jackets episodes, but you can mark your calendars because Yellow Jackets Season 2 will drop Friday, March 24th. Now, another shot. 
shocking TV moment, Ellen Pompeo's departure from Grey's Anatomy. Following 19 seasons of Grey's Anatomy, Ellen Pompeo has decided to step away from her role as the brilliant surgeon Meredith Grey. Her reduced role was explained in the season, with Meredith choosing to leave for Boston. Now, a lot of fans aren't overjoyed by this decision, as Meredith's story has been the main focus of the show for 19 seasons. Yes, a few different characters joined and went, but it's always been Meredith's show. Will this be the end of Grey's Anatomy, or will the show still be a huge hit with fans? Let us know what you think. Now, Kate and Anthony's big step in Bridgerton. After they admitted their feelings to each other, Kate, who is played by Simone Ashley, and Anthony, played by Jonathan Bailey, decided to consummate their love in the open. This shockingly beautiful display of public affection made great television, and fans loved every second of it. The two did take a few more days to finally realize they were meant to be together, but all in all, this moment stood out for most of us. Next, the dreamscape experience in Nancy Drew. After a full season's build for Nancy, played by Kennedy McMahon and Ace, who's played by Alex Saxon to hook up, viewers were shocked when they realized all of the romantic moments were just a dream. The CW show took a massive turn, and in the final episode, Temperance, played by Olivia Taylor Dudley, explained how she'd fabricated the idea of Nancy and Ace living happily ever after. In the real world, Nancy had to choose between killing her ancestors or a future with Ace. She made the selfless choice of sacrificing her happiness to save the town. This set up a huge obstacle for the fan favorite couple to overcome in season 4. Nancy Drew season 4 is set to release on the 31st of May, and many fans are eagerly waiting to see what the show has in store. Now, Tyler and Laurel's sinister characters reveal in Wednesday. Wednesday Adams, who's played by the very talented Jenna Ortega, spent all her time in season 1 trying to figure out who the Hyde is. But most importantly, who's the Hyde's master? Luckily for us, the series used Christina Ricci's phenomenal casting to its advantage. The Wednesday Adams from the hit 1991 Adams Family plays the villainous Laurel Gates. But before fans discovered this secret, she was hiding in plain sight as a teacher, Marilyn Thornhill. Now, in the final episode of the series, we discover that Wednesday was correct about her love interest, Tyler, who was, in fact, the Hyde, and is connected to some very suspicious murders. Next, Ricky and Gina's new beginning in High School Musical, the musical, the series. During season three, Ricky, who is played by Joshua Bassett, and Gina, who is played by Sophia Wiley, were finally able to start fresh as Olivia Rodrigo's Nini finally moved away from Salt Lake City. In the final episode of the series, the two finally admitted their feeling for each other and shared one beautiful kiss. For those of you who are wondering, season four of High School Musical is finally underway, and fans all around the world can hope for an early release in June or August. Another shocking TV moment came in Stranger Things Battle for Hawkins and the casualties that we saw. In the second part of season four, fans were in for a roller coaster ride. The emotions were high as the heroes faced off against Jamie Campbell Bowers' Vecna. The final act ended with a new fan favorite, Eddie Munson, who was played by Joseph Quinn, being killed, and Millie Bobby Brown's Eleven had to bring back Max, who was played by Sadie Sink. Although we're still uncertain if Max will wake up after suffering some serious injuries at the hands of Vecna, we are certain that we'll see another season of Stranger Things, and hopefully, the final season will drop sometime in early 2024. Next, Vampire Academy's choice of bringing Andre back from the dead. Just before the season one finale of the Peacock series, it was revealed that Lissa's brother Andre wasn't actually dead. It is revealed that Jason Diaz's character Andre was kidnapped by Tatiana and was ultimately turned into a Strigoi. Now, only murders in the building's Paul Rudd introduction. No one saw it coming when only murders in the building set the bar to a new high with its second season finale. Here we saw Paul Rudd guest star as a fictional character, Ben. In the final moments, Ben has a showdown with Charles and ends up dead during Oliver's open night of his Broadway 
play. This was a shocking moment, and fans loved it. What a way to end off a season. Next, the bomb Rue dropped in Euphoria. How long have you been? Nate Jacobs will forever be an iconic line out of the series. In season 2, Rue, who is played by Zendaya, attempts to escape from an intervention, but this ends with her telling Maddie all about Sydney Sweeney's character, Cassie's secret relationship. All hell broke loose after Rue shared the news, and the drama spilled into the finale. This made fans even more excited about the future of the show and what will happen in the next season. And don't worry, Filming will start sometime in February, and we can expect another season sometime in 2024. Finally, a familiar face in How I Met Your Father. In How I Met Your Father, the spin-off to How I Met Your Mother, fans got to see a familiar face. Kobe Smulders' surprise appearance as Robin shocked many, and finally tied the two shows together. Now, sadly, here is where our video is going to have to end. If you enjoyed it, let us know down in the comments. Also, be sure to let us know which one of these shocking TV moments shocked you the most. Remember to like and subscribe for more content like this. See ya!